I just take my mind Told her I ain't coming Folks, welcome to another edition of Gavin's Good News Vlog. Thank you very much indeed for being with us today. So this, of course, is the place for positive, upbeat and happy news around on the internet and in the world in general. First of all, let's start with the young lad from East London, Reggie Nelson. He basically took the ingenious way of finding himself a job. So he was, he was sort of a bit down in, in the dumps when his dad passed away. He thought, I want to take charge of my life. I want to put something in that's gonna see me secure my future and do myself good in the coming years. So what he did was quite amazing. He went round to one of the richest areas, one of the most wealthy areas in London, and basically knocked on some doors, started knocking on doors, asking people how they got rich, asking people how they got to where they are. I mean, it's, it's so, it, it just must have come across incredibly genuine, and he must have sort of endeared himself to a lot of these people, because one, the, one of the guys he met was a guy called, um, Quentin Price, and he is uh, quite high up in BlackRock, which is a big asset management company, so they manage a lot of finances, manage a lot of money for, for big clients and businesses, and you know, it's, it's, a, it's a prestigious job, and it, you know, it's an industry where, that makes a lot of money. So he ended up shadowing, getting, an in, getting a bit of work experience with them, becoming an intern, and then getting on the financial corporate ladder of securing a job. I think it's an amazing way to go out and get what you want, by just being direct, being forthright and being honest. And I reckon that if you're in a situation where, you know, you wanna change career, you wanna do something that's just slightly different away from your normal day routine or whatever, you know, just go and do it, just go and seize the moment. The pitch when I knocked on people's doors was, my name's Reggie, I'm from East London. I came to Kensington and Chelsea because I researched that this is the wealthiest area in the UK. And I just wanted to know what schools and colleges you had that allowed you to live in a wealthy area like this so that I can extrapolate that and use that for myself. Another guy who's doing wicked things and has been doing it really under the radar is Ludacris. So Ludacris, of course, popular rapper in the sort of early 2000s, still around now as a movie star. He's been in the Fast and Furious films and he's doing a lot of um, MTV stuff at the moment. Fear Factor on MTV is his big series right now. So Ludacris, I was a huge fan of Ludacris when I was younger. I had a load of his albums. Um, his music's fantastic. He's still a big deal right now. His image has changed so much over the years. Like he's gone from having cornrows to now being a bit more clean cut and stuff. But Hollywood royalty in a way, he's done the Fast and Furious films. Ludacris has, has, go, has been going around Whole Foods stores in the US, and I think in Canada as well, and buying people's groceries. Buying people's groceries. There's a woman called Thera Jeremio. I think that's how you pronounce her name. But she has been on the receiving end of one of Ludacris's gestures. Um, he paid for a shopping once, something like $400. Um, and, you know, these are people that are cash strapped as well. You know, the, the, you know, the groceries uh, week to week are, are a struggle for a lot of these people. So I just think it's phenomenal that Ludacris has been doing this. Now on the down low, not publicizing it, just saying, you know, these are from Chris. That's his real name. Chris, I know, crazy, <laughs> crazy name for a rapper, isn't it? But yeah, he's been doing this without telling anyone, without like publicizing it. Um, and. You know, it's, it's just, it's making people's days, you know, and it's been doing it over time. It's not just recently, it's been doing it for months and months. So the New York Times did an investigation on Ludacris and it, it shows that over the tweets they collated, he's been doing it for a long time. It's just a phenomenal act of generosity that Ludacris has been doing and paying for people's groceries over the years. Brilliant work. And it's just, it's nice that he doesn't, he's not seeking credit or publicity for it. Nigga, how you live? I'm on jet skis with nigga bitches. And lastly, this is just the most heartwarming story. Kai, the Asuri brown bear, um, has been rescued from uh, Japan after being captive in a you know six foot by nine foot cage for the last 17 years. So he's been taken from Japan, brought to England, to Yorkshire, uh, and has now got his first taste of freedom. And it was captured by uh, zookeepers in the public on, uh, on their phones. And it just shows like, you know, a really scarred bear that's been held in the most horrific of conditions. Uh, these bears were taken from their mother when they were cubs and you know they were just held in captivity in, the, in Hokkaido in Japan and um, it's yeah it's quite it's quite sad when you think about it but at the same time it's you know they've finally been you know what a, a, what a charity called Wild Welfare uh, was alerted to their plight and then they launched a campaign to get them back uh, into an area where they can be looked after. Um, but it's really you know they, they, they had like you know some because the bears were in cages for so long pretty much all their lives. Um, they had rotten teeth because they just weren't eating properly. Their, uh, their claws were wrecked. They had no, like their, their patches of fur missing. Um, and these, 
you know, these brown, because they're rubbing up against the, you know, the, the bars of the cage. These brown bears are like, you know, they're a rare species. There's only, I think, 10,000 of them left in Japan. So, you know, yeah, I just think it's phenomenal that, you know, bears like that can be saved and given a new home. And there's a lot of players involved in this in getting them from, you know, flown from Japan to the UK. Uh, but it is really nice to see them getting their first taste of freedom. Well, that's today's show then. Thank you very much indeed for watching uh, today. This has been Gavin's Good News Vlog. As ever, do let me know what you think of the stories. What do you think about the young lad, Reggie Nelson, who took the initiative and went to go and find his dream, find his goals? Do you think that sort of stuff's inspirational to you? It, what's, what have you done that's like been just direct and just you've just gone for it and you've achieved it? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. As ever, do like, subscribe, follow and hit the notifications bell. Uh, this has been Gavin's Good News Vlog. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you again next time. Have a wicked day. Stay positive and keep happy. How you living, nigga? How you live? I'm on jet skis with nigga bitches. Get my last city, nigga bitches. Lean main squeeze for these nigga bitches, yeah. That's how you know when it's all bad. She called me a text, I could call back. But she imagine in her head.